So do you want to learn how to organize things in your house in a more eco-friendly manner? Then watch this video where I will be decluttering and organizing my super messy dressing table using eco-friendly products. Also, we have a very different and sustainable kind of giveaway happening in this channel right now. So stay tuned till the end of this video to know all about it. Also, if you do enjoy my content, why not try subscribing to my channel and also giving this video a like so that I know that you enjoy these kind of videos and I will be more encouraged to make more of these every week. This dressing table was bought second hand but it obviously doesn't have too much of space. I know it now looks super duper messy with things lying all around it. Having been a beauty vlogger earlier, I have accumulated a ton of makeup and skincare products over time. I'm also a huge accessories lover and I've especially got the craze for earrings. You'll be able to see it in my Goa haul video. And all of these things are lying around totally disorganized. So I definitely need to organize it better. And for that, I'll be reusing some items that I had lying around and I'll also be using some eco-friendly organizers that I purchased for this purpose. First, let's declutter the dressing table and keep it as a whole pile on the floor. Now will be the perfect time to check for the expiry dates of the products and to see if you want to keep it with yourself or you want to throw it away or you want to keep it for somebody else. Wow, there seems to be tons of products that I hardly use and they seem to be far from the expiry dates too. So I'm going to try keeping it for others. And too many earrings and neck pieces also. So these are also things I need to just keep away. Let me now sort these into different piles for throwing away, for keeping or even for gifting. Okay, now that's done. So now let's start with the organizing part of it. The first and my most favorite purchase is this metal rotating organizer in pastel pink color. I'm organizing my everyday products in this. The best thing is that every item is easily accessible with the rotating feature. Next is a plastic organizer that I had gotten over two years back which I used to use in my pantry. So I'll be using this now to organize the deodorants and perfumes of both mine and Suraj's. These are purchases from over a year back and I won't be buying more of these in the future once these are finished. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stay stinky just that I'll probably be switching over to deodorant sticks. So I've got a popcorn container that I got during a flight which is made out of metal. So I'll be reusing it to store all of my combs. Yes, I still do have plastic combs because I don't believe in throwing them out unless it becomes useless. And finally, a vanity mirror that I had gotten from IKEA which was just lying around unpacked for over a year and a half now. 
it's finally on this table but i really wish i had used this during my earlier makeup videos so i'll now keep my sunglasses on the table and that's it the top of the table is finished and it looks so much tidier with no clutter at all let's start with the first drawer i'm using this organizer which we got as a wedding gift from a friend i'll also be keeping our pack of kama ayurveda skincare products in here too Again, another gift from our friends. Next, I'm storing my beauty blenders, which I definitely need to clean up soon, along with the cleaning product in this container, which I received with a set of earrings. Next, I'll be storing my homemade dry shampoo. I also have a video on how I made this dry shampoo, so you can check it out as well. Also, keeping my pack of makeup remover pads, which I haven't really used for a long time now, but I obviously would need to use it as I don't want to waste it. But I'll be using reusable ones in the future. So I'll be keeping my nail polishes, the remover, concealers, and some eyeshadows in the organizer in this drawer. Now to the second drawer. I'm reusing this old chocolate box as my earrings organizer. It's perfect for the purpose. I'm also using a wooden box which I picked up from somewhere, I'm not sure where, to use for storing my neck pieces. Another wooden box which my old colleague gifted me is used for storing some of my jewelry which I wore for my wedding. And no, they're not gold, so it's safe. I'm using another beautifully carved wooden box for my other ethnic earrings. Storing my wedding bangles again, not gold, with the sponge that I got with a set of earrings. And the rest of the bangles from the wedding time in this clear plastic bag which I received with one of these bangle sets. So some more single bangles, I'm just leaving them loose. And that makes it for all the organizing in this drawer. Now in the bottom cupboard, I'm keeping all my hair products like my straightener, curling iron and my epilator on a basket I'd taken from my cousin. There are a few more deodorants that are in excess so I'll just keep them in here for using later on. Lots of makeup bag from old subscription boxes which I use regularly while traveling will also be kept here. Some of my old sheet masks are kept here on top of the makeup bags. So I won't be buying more of these sheet masks as they are single usage products and I don't really believe in them anymore. The last items I've kept here are some packets of muldani mitti and so on beside the basket. Haven't really kept much of stuff here but yet these are all easily reachable when needed. To organize my remaining earrings and neck pieces, I've got another pink mild steel jewelry organizer. It's super pretty and I'm so glad I got this as I can keep all the regularly used earrings and neck pieces here. I know that's a lot of jewellery but I've always loved earrings especially and these were all bought over a period of at least 10 years or more. I might not really be buying a lot more jewellery in the future as I might just keep repeating these all the time. Now I've still got all my makeup items that I need to organize properly and for that I got a whole new black metal open trolley. I further got another pink metal organizer from Amazon and a small metal bucket from IKEA. I'll probably organize my lipsticks, kajals, concealers and foundations in this pretty pink organizer. And I'll also be keeping my makeup brushes in the bucket. In the second compartment, I've kept my eyeshadow palettes, highlighters and my contour sticks. In the third compartment, I honestly had nothing more to fill it with, so I'm just keeping a couple of books along with my Kindle and a Specs box here. 
In the fourth compartment, I'm keeping some hair accessories which I kept from my wedding hairdo. Another plastic box I've kept for so many years, I'll be using to store my hair pins and safety pins. A couple of moisturizers which are almost over are also kept here. These are all random miscellaneous items which had really no other space for keeping. So that makes up for the complete transformation of my dressing table by reusing a lot of items for storing purposes and also adding on some metal organizers. So this will definitely keep it clutter free. And I hope that this video would have helped you get an idea of how you can organize yours without really using a lot of common plastic organizers which would just be thrown away in the end. Alright, so you've already seen the transformation to my dressing table but in the process you would have already seen that I had a ton of products that I was not trying to keep for myself anymore and those mostly included a lot of makeup items as well as a lot of accessories including earrings and neck pieces. These are all products of me and my past binge shopping habits which I'm trying to get out of and almost successfully. So I realized that even if I have these at home, I'm not going to be using it as regularly. So hence, I had the option to either just keep it at home and like let it be there till it just gets bad and then I have to throw it away which is against my complete principles or I could give it away to some of you. So this is where the giveaway is happening. So we are having a second hand giveaway in this channel where I will be sending a few of my pre-loved items to you. So I hope that the ones who want to take part in this giveaway would be ones who are open to second hand shopping. And as you probably can see, I do have a lot of stuff to give away. So there will be five winners for this giveaway and each of the winner will be able to choose five products for themselves. So Winner number one will be able to choose five products from the list of items I have and then winner number two will be able to choose five products from the remaining list of items. So winner number five will be able to choose five products from the ones which is remaining in the end. So make sure to participate actively for this giveaway so that you will be able to choose the products that you really want before it gets chosen by somebody else. And all the rules that you have to follow to enter this giveaway will be given in the description box below. So make sure to go check it out. The giveaway will be open till the 27th of September. The winners will be announced shortly after on Instagram and also on the community tab in YouTube. I'll see you again next week with another video. So till then, bye-bye.